नमस्कार दोस्तों बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका हमारे YouTube चैनल में दोस्तों मैं हूं ये राजवीर आपका अकेडमी और यूटीब एजुकेटर दोस्तों आज की क्लास यानी दिस इज द पार्ट थर्ड वन थाउजेंड एम सीरीज दोस्तों मैं आपको और भी कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन देना चाहूंगा इसके पहले कि मैं अपनी क्लास को बिगिन करूं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लर्नर्स की यस यू कैन ज्वाइन मी ऑन डेली क्राफ्ट बिकॉज डेली लर्नर्स आपको लाइव प्रैक्टिस सेशन सीरीज मिलती है कल यानी कि लर्नर्स डेली ये जो मंथ है लर्नर्स जब मैं वीडियो बना रहा हूं सो दिस इज द मंथ मे लर्नर्स मे ट्वेंटी वन लर्नर्स डेली इस मे के मंथ में यानी कि मई के महीने में आपको डेली मिलने वाली है एक प्रैक्टिस सीरीज फ्री प्रैक्टिस सीरीज अन अकेडमी की प्लेटफॉर्म सो जस्ट डाउनलोड अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप्लीकेशन एंड लर्नर्स यस आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग आप बिल्कुल मुझे फॉलो कर सकते हैं अन अकेडमी के प्लेटफॉर्म पर और डेली हम आपको प्रैक्टिस सीरीज में फ्री प्रोवाइड करता हूं इस मंथ लर्नर्स जो रेफरल कोड है मेरा एक एस राजवीर और ये रेफरल कोड क्यों सो लर्नर्स अगर आप चाहें तो पेड कोर्सेज मेरे ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं अकेडमी के प्लेटफॉर्म पर नाउ लर्नर्स दिस इज द टाइम कि हमें प्रैक्टिस सेशन थ्री को स्टार्ट करना चाहिए और काफी अच्छा लगेगा वैसे दोस्तों आप लोग आते हैं डेली काफी अच्छे से देखते हैं प्लीज अपना फीडबैक जरूर कमेंट बॉक्स में रहे काफी अच्छा लगता है मुझे कि आपका फीडबैक मुझे मिला नाउ लर्नर्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो द नीड फॉर ईच इंडिविजुअल टू अवॉइड conformity and false consistency and follow his own instinct instincts and ideas who said this so learners you have four options charles lamb then learners after that charles lamb you have samuel johnson francis bacon r w emerson so learners please do select the right answer and let us aap ise comment box mein zarur likhe So learners, now I'm going to show you the correct answer. Who said so? So learners, correct answer is fourth one. R. W. Emerson. So Emerson said so. The need for each individual to avoid conformity and false consistency and follow his own instincts and ideas. So who said so? So learners, R. W. Emerson. And in which work? So learners. आर डब्ल्यू इमर्सन ने एक वर्क लिखा है द नेम ऑफ द वर्क इज सेल्फ रिलायंस दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द वर्क और लर्नर्स ये जो वर्क है सो ये 1841 के टाइम पीरियड में आया था एक ऐसे है एंड लर्नर्स uh, अगर आप बात करें राल्फ वोल्डो इमर्सन की सो राल्फ वोल्डो इमर्सन को आप ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट मूवमेंट का एक ग्रेट फिगर कंसिडर कर सकते हैं अ ग्रेट फिलोसफर इवन लेटर्स जब आप इको क्रिटिसिज्म पढ़ते हैं तो वहां पर भी इनके ऊपर फोकस किया जाता है एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एसे सेल्फ रिलायंस व्हाट ही सेड द नीड फॉर ईच इंडिविजुअल टू अवॉइड कंफॉर्मिटी एंड फॉल्स कंसिस्टेंसी एंड फॉलो हिज ऑन इंस्टिंक्ट एंड आइडिया सो दीस आर द लाइंस फ्रॉम आर डब्ल्यू इमर्सन्स सेल्फ रिलायंस 1841 नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन so the next one is browning's andrea del chardo a painter in his poem was also known as browning's andrea del chardo a painter in his poem was also known as world's finest painter the faultless painter wicked painter or all the above So learners, which one is the correct answer? Do write the answer on comment box, please. Now learners, see the correct answer. So the correct answer is faultless painter. Second one is the correct answer, the faultless painter. So Andrea del Sarto, he is also known as a faultless painter. And learners, Andrea del Sarto is a uh, one of the dramatic. lyric or you can say dramatic monologue by whom so robert browning robert browning so learners robert browning ki poem hai andrea del sarto and andrea del sarto he is known as a faultless painter this poem was appeared in a collection name men and women this is the name of the browning's poetic collection 
and this collection was appeared in 1855. So known as Entria del Sarto, it means 1855. So in 1855, this particular poem was appeared in a collection, Men and Women. And this is a dramatic monologue because uh, Robert Browning is considered as the master of dramatic monologue. Let us uh, Joe faultless painter hai, yani ki Andrea del Sarto, so he has different qualities like technical painting quality and he is also can be considered as soulless painter, lack of inspiration, love for Lucrezia, because Lucrezia learners jo Lucrezia hai, so wo ek acha response nahi deti, Divit, uh, yes, deviated by the infatuation with Lucrezia and deceived the king. So, learners, these are the important points from Entria del Sarto poem by Robert Brown. Now, see the next one question. Who among the following, along with Karl Latchman, founded the field of textual criticism? Textual criticism. With whom? So, Karl Latchman. This is. So, who among the following, along with Karl Latchman, founded the field of textual criticism? So, learners, you have Fred Shun Bums, W. W. Gray, R. B. Macro, Emmanuel Baker. So, learners, do select the correct answer and write it down on comment box. Now, learners, you can see the correct answer on your screen. So, the correct answer is Emmanuel Baker. This is the correct answer, learners. So, uh, learners, uh, in founding, uh, yes, field of textual criticism, you can say textual criticism, these are the prominent figure. Friedrich Wolf, then learners, Emmanuel Becker and Karl Lassmann. So, learners, these are the three figures associated with textual criticism. Now, see the next one question on your screen. So, the next one is, in which of Anita Desai's novel does a German Jew flees Germany to live in India? After a relatively successful business career, her, uh, her retires to a rather impoverished life in the company of pack of stray cats. So, let us, you can see, vices in the city, in custody, cry the peacock, then bomb gartner's bombay so learners us these are the options and now you can select the correct answer and do write the answer on comment box i'm waiting you have only 15 seconds so now you can see the correct answer on your screen so here is the correct answer this is fourth one bomb gartner's bombay let us, this is a novel by Anita Deshai and in this particular work you can see Hugo Baumgartner and he was pleased from, from, uh, from you can say Nazi Germany, Germany se wo bhaag kar ke aata hai and his Jewish heritage ko wo chhod aata hai and India me aata hai for what? So learn us because only to be imprisoned as a hostile alien and then released to Bombay at wars in Lennus Kyuki, ye holocaust may consider kiya jata hai. That's why one of the important work too. So now let us correct answer, Bomb Gartner's Bombay. Please do read the uh, once more. Please is question ko ek baat aur read ki jiye. Pause karke video ko. Now see the next one. Which one of the following novels of Jan Astin, the lines appears? Shilly things do Cease to be silly if they are done by sensible people in an impudent way. So you have option Northinger Abbey, Emma, the Watsons and Persuasion. So learn us these are the options and now you can select the right answer and you can write on the uh, yes on comment box please. Now, you can see the correct answer on Joe's screen. So, the correct answer is second one, Emma. 
Let us Jan Austen, one of the wonderful novelist from Romantic era, and she has written wonderful book like Pride and Prejudice, Emma Watson, Persuasion, Northanger Abbey. So these are the works by Jan Austen. Now let us see the work Emma. This is also considered as one of the finest novel by Austin. And this novel set in a village named Highbury. You must remember learners. This is the name of the village. On that village, the setting of the novel takes place. Now let us see another important thing. Jan Austin about the heroine of this particular work, Emma. Emma. Yes, Emma ke baare mein hi Jan Austin ne kaha. What she said, I'm going to take a heroine. These are the lines. I'm going to take a woman, uh, a heroine whom no one but myself will must like. So let us don't expect here ki readers person kare. And what she has written about uh, Emma. So a handsome, clever and rich woman. Yes, learners. So Emma is one of the best work by Zaire Astin and these are a few points from this particular work. Now see the next one. What is the meaning of parole in Chasaurian linguistics? So you have four options. The concrete instances of the use of lang, an organized system of differences. Next one, the dialectic, uh, the dialectic between thought and speech. Language in the abstract sense. So let us which one is the correct answer? Please. So now let us. You can see the right answer. And let us. If you think that I am the answer bata raha hu, So please do pause the video. And then you right answer. Likh sakte hai on comment box. So the correct answer is first one. The concrete instances of use of parable. Lang, use of lang. Let us Cheshire Ferdinand de Cheshire. Ferdinand de Cheshire. Let us, this is the name. He is a French linguistic. One of the great linguistic, one of the great among the, uh, yes, one of the great linguistics. And let us now see he has written a work. The name of the work is Course in General Linguistic. Course in general linguistic let us this work is written in french language french and this work was published in 1916 but actually this work is not written by ferdinand de chasseur actually learners ferdinand de chasseur he has given a lecture where so in uni at the university of genoa at university of Zenova. And let us, his two students named Charles Bally and Albert Sitcher. So let us, these are the two students. And they collected those lectures and compiled them. So from 1906 to 1911, they compiled. And later on, these all lectures were published in a book form named Course in General Linguistic 1960. Let us what is difference between Lang and Parole? You have Lang. So let us Lang. First of all, let me make it clear. L A N G U E. So Lang. So let us this is a system of language. System of then language. System of language. And what the parole is, so known as parole, you can say the actual use of language, P-A-R-O-L-E. So this is actual use of the language. Okay, learners, so I think clear. Hoga. Okay, now proceeding to the next one. This book provides a wide ranging accessible and humorous introduction to the English novel from Daniel Tefo to the present day. Options Walter Allen, the English novel. 
टेरी इगल्टन द इंग्लिश नॉवल एफ आर लेविस द ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन एंड इन वॉट सो द राइज ऑफ द नॉवल यू हैव फोर ऑप्शन एंड नाउ यू कैन सेलेक्ट द राइट आंसर एंड डू राइट इन ऑन कमेंट बॉक्स प्लीज हरे प्लेजर्स So now see the correct answer. So let us correct answer is Terry Eagleton's the English novel. This is the work by just yes, this is the work by Terry Eagleton the English novel, not this one. Terry Eagleton's the English novel. Let us this work was actually published by Eagleton, and Terry Eagleton is considered as one of the great figure. among marxist theorists and this work is going to access from daniel tefo to james joy so these are the figures in this particular work you can see a wide range let us you can see this book provides a wide ranging accessible humorous introduction to the english novel from daniel tefo to the present day you have figure like depo henry fielding richardson lawrence stern walter scott jane astin bronte sisters charles dickens george eliot thomas hardy henry james joseph conrad and then virginia wolf d h lawrence and james joy so these are the figures that are the part of eagleton's the english novel Now let us you can see the next one question. Who among the following is the author of Mirror and the Lamp? Let us आपके UGC नेट के एग्जाम में already ये क्वेश्चन आ चुका है. So see, M H Abrams, Raymond Williams, Roland Barth, Terry Eagleton. So let us do select the right answer out of four, and do write it on comment box, please. Now you can see the right answer on your screen. So the right answer is the mirror and the lamp. This is an essay by M. H. Abrams. So one is first one is the correct answer. And let us this one work is really interesting one. 1953, this work was appeared, and this work is going to focus on. Just yes, shows that until the Romantics, literature was typically understood as a mirror reflecting the real world, mirror and the lamp. So before Romantics, the literature can be seen as the mirror of real world, or you can say society, or a kind of mimesis of the world, kind of imitation of the world. But later on. when romantic came so writing become like a lamp so let us one two two things are there one is mirror so m i double r o r mirror and another thing is lamp so romantics are lamp and mirror so be before romantics you can say so they were mirror of society So let us the light of writer's inner soul is spilled out to illuminate the world. This is the major purpose of this particular essay, the mirror and lamp. Let us बहुत important है आपके M H Abram. Deconstructive angel is also there. This is a wonderful work paper presented by M H Abram. Now let us see the next one. Which one of the following is correct in its explication of semiotics? So let us sound system, ordering of speech sounds, study of shine system, evolution of words. So let us which one is the correct answer? Do write the answer on comment box, please. now see the correct answer on your screen so the correct answer is this one third one the study of sign system so semiotics is the study of sign system 
in more clear way you can say semiotics is the study of sign process sign process so correct answer is third one now next one question on your screen ways of constituting knowledge see learners ways of constituting knowledge together with the social practices is known as ways of constituting knowledge together with social practices is known as monopoly ideology discourse hegemony so which one is the correct answer do write the answer on comment box please so let us now you can see the correct answer on your screen so the correct answer is ways of constitu uh, cons constituting knowledge is known as so known as discourse let us this discourse analysis or discourse this is a term given by michel foucault the great personality michel foucault he has all, also given a number of terms and all but let us here we are only going to talk on about discourse let us aapke exam mein ugc mein at least one question from michel foucault you must remember so let us he defines discourse as constituting knowledge together with the social practices forms of subjectivity and power relation which inherent in such knowledge and relation between them so let us discourse is what so discourse can be considered as considered as the ways of thinking and producing meaning but more than of it yes let us discourse are more than ways of thinking and producing meaning discourse is not all about only pro, uh, production of meaning or only ways of thinking but this is more than that of so let us you can say ki ek deep deep thinking or deep thinking while the production of meaning so let us correct answer third one next one who among the following has written the critic as host one of the best question learners the critic as host so you have option michel foucault roman enagard uh, in garden j h miller roland barthes so let us do select the correct answer and write it down on comment box please So now you can see the correct answer on your screen. So let us. This is the correct answer. Correct answer is J. H. Miller. So let us. J. H. Miller has written the work, the critic as host, and this work can be considered as a reply to M. H. Abrams work, deconstructive angel, deconstructive angel. Let us deconstructive angel is a paper presented by M H Abram, and yes, M H Abram is going to support when both W A Y N E when a B W O T H both. Let us when both and M H Abram, M H Abram. Let us both what said? So yes, they said this uh, deconstructive reading is a kind of. P A R A S I T E parasite. Okay, let us now see let us that these two papers were presented in 1976, and yes, let us these two papers were presented in a same session. So the critic as host can be considered as a reply to M H Abrams the deconstructive engine. Now see the next one question. so the frontier thesis or turner thesis is the argument advanced by ramond williams homi bhaba f j turner gadiu stein so let us do select the correct answer and write it down on comment box please
ओके लेनस नाउ यू कैन सी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑन जो स्क्रीन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज फ्रंटियर थीसिस बाय एफ जे टर्नर फ्रंटियर थीसिस बाय हुम सो एफ जे टर्नर एलेनस यस दिस द फ्रंटियर थीसिस और यू कैन से टर्नर थीसिस टू नेम is the argument advanced by historian Frederick Jackson Turner in 1893 let us aapke exam mein ek question aaya tha related to gertrude stein gertrude stein so which generation is known as or you can say on the name of gertrude stein which is which is uh, the generation please do write the answer on comment box only लर्नर्स कौन सी जनरेशन है जिसके बारे में गर्ड स्टेट ने बात किया एंड वन ऑफ द वंडरफुल जनरेशन कैन बी कंसीडर नेक्स्ट वन हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज मोर्न इन शैलीज एडमिस सो वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन सो आर डब्ल्यू इमरसन जॉन कीट्स पी वी शैली अब्राहम लिंकन ओके लर्नर सुना करेक्ट आंसर ऑन कमेंट बॉक्स प्लीज Now see the ne uh, now see the right answer on screen on your screen. So see, Adonis on death of John Keats. This is a pastoral elegy by P. B. Shelley, Percy B. Shelley, and on death of John Keats. And learners, yes, this is one of the wonderful elegy. 1821. In this year, John Keats was died of consumption. tuberculosis now let us see uh, a poem has been also written on death yes on death of abraham lincoln so let us two poems are there and who is the author so two poems one is o captain my captain on death of abraham lincoln and then another one poem so that is when lilacs lost in doryard bloom so let us this is the poem two poems are there and these two poems are really important and interesting one and on death of whom so yes on death of abraham lincoln so these two were written on death of abraham lincoln okay learners and these two poems are by walt whitman o captain and when lilacs lost so let us these two poems by walt whitman now see the next one in which of the following work character oliver miller's appears so these are the option henry miller's tropic of cancer james joyce's ulysses d h lawrence's lady chatley's lover and anis nin's delta of venus so let us do write the correct answer on comment box Oliver Millers Okay learners so see the correct answer on your screen so correct answer is Lady Chatley's Lover by D H Lawrence So learners D H Lawrence has written a wonderful work Lady Chatley's Lover and this work was considered as one of the bekar samrat one of the you can say controversial work among d h lawrence though he is uh, he is already famous for writing controversial writing like showing obscenity and all so let us lady chatley's lover this was first published in 1928 but it was privately published and in italy it was published in 1928 and then 1929 in france and later on united kingdom in 1960 and learners it was put it in a trial learners jo penguin books hai jisne ise publish kiya tha is work ko lady chatley's lover so learners us par trial bhi hua tha later on learners 1960 mein ye publish hua tha uk mein united kingdom mein so learners the reason behind trial because you can see the extra marital relationship between lady chatley's and oliver millers lady chatley and then oliver millers extra marital relationship and one more important thing 
So, Lotus, you can see the frequently treatment of sex and obscene, obscenity, you can say obscenities, you can see in this particular play, a uh, particular novel. So, Lotus, you have a lot of obscenity and you have a lot of sexuality and all is represented in Lady Chapley's lover. Par. Now, see the next one. Who has written literature and dogma? Sir Philip Sidney, P.V. Shelley, Matthew Arnold, or T.S. Eliot. So, let us do select the correct answer and write it down on comment box, please. So, let us now you can see the correct answer on Joe's screen. So, the third one is the correct answer. And literature and dogma is a work by Matthew Arnold. This is a work by whom? So this is a work by Matthew Arnold. So uh, learners, Jethi uh, Hari complete series, jo third series. Hai. And learners, I hope ki later on my aapke saath fourth series, fifth series. So I'm going to cover 1000 questions completely. And learners, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, ko, so do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon too, and select all. And do not forget to share with your friends. And learners, who like my video, ko waise bhi bahut saare log unlike karne ke liye hi aate hain, kyunki main jaise hi upload karta hu video, so one, two, three, three unlikes. So learners, mujhe kafi acha lagta hai. At least aap aate toh hai mere channel pe. Thank you so much, learners. Agli classes mein main fir se milne wala hu. And learners, kal meri class hogi. 11 a.m. and where so at an academy free class learners so thank you so much or next classes may fix a blue up the namaskar enjoy kiji or up of my family